Hi folks, Jake Von Slat here, and uh, today I'm going to finish the Pentayurt series. This is part three. Uh, what I'm going to do is set up the Pentayurt, make sure everything fits together. Uh, I'm not going to tape it tight, I'm just going to tack it with some gaffer's tape uh, just to make sure everything fits. And then I'm going to cut the top for cart. Excuse me. I'm going to cut the tarp for the bottom and uh, then pack everything up in the box and get it ready to go to the playa. So you're welcome to stay and watch. I put a line of aluminum tape up one edge of the roof. That particular panel is one of the panels that had the logo on it. And I wiped the logo off with uh, acetone, but this panel material uh, has an exterior that's a uh, pure aluminum sheet, and then the interior is like an aluminized paper. And even gaffer's tape will rip the surface off the aluminized paper. So I, I just put a strip of this aluminum tape there so I can use some gaffer's tape on it to tack the roof together for this test. Apparently I neglected to finish that edge when I was uh, building the panel, so I just finished it now. So it's supposed to take a minimum of three or four people to put up a hexayurt roof. But as you can see, it is possible to do it by yourself with the help of a couple of props. Uh, this is basically as far as I'm going to go. I'm not going to do the permanent taping or the semi-permanent taping uh, until I get on the playa. Uh, there's basically a band of bifilament tape that goes around the bottom of the roof and then strips to put the roof together. Now, on Playa, I'll probably assemble the roof the conventional way on the ground, and then there's always plenty of people around to help you put it up on top. Um, but as you can see, it is possible to do it by yourself if there's no wind and you have a couple of props. Let's go take a look inside, and I'll show you uh, how big and, uh, and, and roomy the inside of this is. Remember, each wall is eight feet wide and four feet tall. And with the pentiered ceiling, I can stand, I can stand about 18 inches from the wall and have full headroom here. There's the door, window, the furnace filter, and this is the wall that I'll uh, put my bed up against my air mattress. Here's the other window and you can see how it opens and I'll put a little uh, a magnet and some tape here to hold that open, but I'll figure that out once uh, once I'm on the playa. For right now, I'm just going to leave it like that. Here's the other furnace filter, and of course, there's the door. And that's that's really all there is. Once when the roof is more tightly fitted together, there'll be uh, there'll be less light.
and I think I'm going to bring some of the blue tape, the blue tape, and wrap it around the edge of the roof after putting the bifilament tape on, um, just because I really like this silver and silver blue motif, and uh, I, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cover the bifilament tape with this silver tape on Playa 2, this silver blue tape on Playa 2. Well, okay, now, now it's time to break this back down again and put it in the box. Actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut out that tarp into a pentagonal shape. Uh, that will get taped up around the, uh, the base of the, uh, the yurt once we're on Playa. Now I need to build some sort of trailer for the hex yard. Last year I made a large four foot by eight foot uh, trailer out of bed frame angle iron uh, that was designed to take the front wheels from two of the bicycles that uh, we brought. Uh, it worked, um, but it was uh, uh, kind of fussy. It had to be assembled once we got on Playa. And uh, I'm going to try to make something that's a little bit easier, that will hold the, the your lower to the ground so it's a little bit more stable. Uh, so I've got these wheelbarrow wheels, and what I'm going to try to do is make some sort of bracket that will slide on to the side um, for, for each side. And then I'll use uh, ratcheting hold-down straps to attach those to either side of the yurt and then I'm going to see if maybe I can just tow it behind a bicycle with a rope if it's well balanced, if it just has a little bit of tongue weight, uh, if, um, if that's something that will be practical. Uh, so uh, uh, this is again a bit of an ex uh, experiment but uh, I think it will be more convenient than what I did last year.
Okay, so this is the plan. I still have to drill some holes here for the tie downs, the ratchet strap tie downs that'll go over to the other side. There'll just be a single ratchet strap tie down that'll go to the end of the axle on the bottom. I'm hoping by putting it on the axle it will it will help to pull the wheels straight. But I think this is going to work well.